My ideal dress is definitely a low plunge and low or no back, but I don't necessarily think that my parents will agree with it. Right then, Pico. Auntie yeah. Gok is delivering the first dress. <laughs> so, you wanted boho, you wanted floaty, you love lace. This basically is every single thing that you want out of a dress. I can tell my eyes are lighting up. How do we feel about the plunge? Fine, yeah. Yeah? Brilliant. What do you think Mum's going to say? Um, she's going to be worried that the boobs are out. Why is Mum so averse to the low plunge and the backless and everything else? Uh, she's from the Mormon religion. Um, oh, so right, OK. So very, very conservative, very covered up. And can I ask, are you, are you part of the Mormon church? No, no. Right. I left when I was 18. Was it difficult to tell Mum that you were leaving? Yeah, yeah, we had a bit, bit, a bit of a fallout. Um, OK. But uh, it's fine now. I mean, I wouldn't have met Ross if right. I didn't leave. Julie was disappointed. Obviously, her child had turned away from the faith that Julie's so fond of. I hope today would bring them closer together and to give Celise her mum's approval. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to cry. I love this. I've never seen myself like this. The dress is, I think, going against the Mormon beliefs. It's very exposing and very re revealing. It makes me a little bit scared, a little bit apprehensive, but at the same time, I just want to be me. So how do you think Mum and the church are going to feel about their baby girl dressed like this? It's hard to tell. Mum, I can't gauge this. I'm trying to read your face because oh, yeah. there's big smiles all round, but there's a little less from you. It's not hitting me. It's not hitting you? OK. No. When Mum said that the dress wasn't hitting her, she wasn't feeling it, it made me feel a bit vulnerable. It wasn't my Celise. I'm hoping that they can be better. How do you feel about the plunge and about the back on show? I haven't seen the back, but the plunge I'm OK with. Yeah. OK, do you want to see the back? Yeah, I'd love to see the back. spin round. <laughs> I'm fine with it showing a bit of back. Yeah. You know, but not to the point where you couldn't put a bra on. Dad, what are we thinking? I think that is a beautiful gown for a very, very beautiful young woman. Oh. I think you've got it spot on, Gok, I think. That's really spot on. Aww. I don't like it. I'm not feeling this dress at all. I just wanted it to be higher up. I do think that we should try and push it a little bit further. Let's look and see if we need to add a little bit more sparkle, a little bit more twinkle. Yeah, no Happy? Yeah, absolutely, okay. 100%. Right, let's do the second. Come on, then. <laughs> OK. I think it's perfect. Do you? I feel like just saying next. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your second dress. Gorgeous, feminine, beautiful lace on there. It does have an illusion panel up here, so you're going to feel slightly more covered. Yeah. The lace work onto the waist, it kind of peters down into the dress. As you can see, there's a lot more skirt. You step into here. It looks a little bit heavy, so I don't know if this is going to look right on me. On the count of three, you can open your eyes. One, two, three. Oh. Oh. I was not expecting that. Is it doing much for you? No. No? No. It just felt like I was wearing somebody else's dress. It's not, you know, it's not boho enough. It was just too conservative, and it wasn't showing my personality. I wasn't happy. <laughs> And do you think Mum will like it? Yeah, Mum will love it. Um, everything is to her standard, so it's very right. modest. Modest Molly is something that is often used in the Mormon faith. It's quite a conservative dress sense, um, and this dress is definitely Modest Molly. So you seem quite upset. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable in this. Right. I feel like this would be my Mum's perfect dress for me. But if you don't feel comfortable, we don't go downstairs. I think she needs to see it. Mum, you've got tears in your eyes. I have. Do you like it? You don't. <laughs> Seeing my mum cry was a little bit heartbreaking because I knew in my head I didn't like this dress. Even though she's crying, it's not me. I feel like this is Modest Molly.
I didn't feel like me anymore. Yeah. I felt like a little girl rather than a bride. OK. Mum, is that a shock to hear? Yeah. I saw a woman for the first time with Celise. But then I saw how sad Celise looked in it. And that was it, really. I couldn't love it anymore. It's her day. Yeah. It's her dress. Whether I like it or not, it doesn't matter. If Celise doesn't like it, then it has to be a, a no. I definitely thought that took a lot for my mum to do, putting her views aside and just thinking about me. It was really comforting. We have a dress here that is absolutely the epitome of what I think boho is. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Oh, hello. Isn't she absolutely gorgeous? At this point, dress one had already set such a high bar. I didn't know it was going to beat that. What do you think? I really like that. I wouldn't have chosen it off the shelf myself, but I am willing to try anything. Whoa. Flipping it. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. I was not expecting to be put in this at all. It is so out there, but it's still very me. It just looks like it was made for me. It was definitely one of a kind. I love it. I'd love her to, this to be something of a wow for her. Yeah. I would know if Celise walks in with her dream dress. I think it's her smile on her face. This dress is definitely not a modest molly. It's me, it's Celise. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> yes, she cried. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw my mum overwhelmed, it was just really, really nice. It was just a moment of acceptance, which is, at the end of the day, what I wanted. Mum? Yes? Like a walnut, have we cracked you? <clears throat> oh. Perfect. You happy? Yes, very. Oh, that is silly. I just thought, wow, he'd done it. It was there in that dress. She's shone. Is it modest enough for you? <laughs> <laughs> it's silly. It's silly. Okay. It's silly. I will take that. I yes. will take that. Dad, what were we thinking? Just lovely. It really, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just stunned for words. So my name's Laura. Oh, Laura. I love that. I love that. I would say I was a tomboy, definitely. It's certainly uh, different from my uh, race overalls. So my dad bought me my first race car at 16, and then the rest is history. It's a bit surreal, really. Uh, being a British champion is an amazing feeling. It's a big achievement. Hello! Hello! Hi. Laura. That's me. Hello, Laura. Nice to meet Gok. you. Nice to meet you. Congratulations. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm very nervous. You look a little bit yes. nervous. I, Why is that? I hate shopping. I do hate shopping. You know, going clothes shopping, the dress. This is slightly room. more than going clothes I shopping. Know, but We're it's, not looking for I, a tracksuit today. Just go into the changing room and you've got the mirrors and you can see everything and it's just, yeah. Right. Just... So you never look at yourself in the mirror? Very rarely. I'm used to my overalls, uh, no makeup, messy hair. So just feeling confident in a dress is something I do worry about. Because she hasn't tried on any dresses, it's just a, kind of a new world of what's going to suit her body. When you're wearing your wedding dress on your wedding day, it's basically like a massive catwalk. Yes. And so we need to find a dress that you feel super confident in. Definitely. By hook or by crook, we yeah. will do that. Um, talk to me about budget. Well, we're saying one to one and a half. OK. But two, if it was, you know, the one. OK, so one to one and a half, <laughs> maybe two. <laughs> you lot, go and take a load off. You go and get changed. OK. And we'll go shopping. Yeah? Come yeah. on, Neve, we'll go this way. Right, it's really clear what we need to do is we need to show her her body. I think, let's think bodycon, let's think fishtail or trumpet. Let's yep. just throw everything at it and see sparkle. what her reaction is. Exactly. Yep. What about Maybe. here? Yes. She's I gorgeous. Love we love this. 
Right then. It's very exciting. I've got this first dress, and it might be a little bit like throwing you in the deep end. OK. Here we go. Oh, wow. We're all so used to seeing her dressed down. It'd really be nice to see something that really shows Laura for who she is. <laughs> you look amazing. How do you feel? I do feel amazing. Do you feel feminine? Yes. Well, you look beautiful. <laughs> I think we should spin you around and let's ask your lovely family what they think. Right, I think we start with you, Dad. Definitely a daddy's girl. So it's very important to get my dad's approval. I'm blown away by that, Laura. You look absolutely stunning in that. Stunning. It's the transformation to see your daughter up there, like, you know what I mean? It starts getting you tight in your throat and a lump and everything. I think it looks stunning in it. I, yeah. I love the shape. I love the figure hugging. I think that yeah. looks stunning in it. Yeah. Hourglass. Oh, I'm going to be a downer on there. I don't like the top. Yeah. I do like the bottom, but I, I just don't like the top. Too booby? Yes. I don't this. like this bit showing... Cos that's not you. Yeah. Sorry. I do agree with Mum. The plunge is a bit much. I am surprised with the reactions. I did think my dad would be the one that had the issues with it. So, yeah, that shocked me. The dress is quite revealing. It is very fitted, and it isn't what I thought that she might choose or wear, if I'm honest, as the first dress. I'm not used to seeing her exposing so much flesh, and all the friends and family that will be there on the day aren't used to seeing her like that. So it'd be quite a shock, I think, for everybody. Our input is really important to her. If we don't absolutely love her the same as she loves her dress, she will, you know, oh. She step back from it. This dress is a you dress. Yeah. It's not necessarily a family dress. No. We've got to find you somewhere that you feel yeah. comfortable wearing a dress for your family, but also wearing a dress for you. Yes. And so I think we should maybe tame the sex down a little yeah. bit. Yeah, I think I just want to see a different style at the moment. A sparkly dress, princessy. It's going to be a tough dress to be, <laughs> to be fair. I do feel <laughs> out of my depth. She's so used to wearing casual, comfortable clothing. It must be really confusing and overwhelming for her. <laughs> Let's find out what your family think. Are you going to spin around? I like the top, but it doesn't, doesn't show your shape, that, does it? You're hidden in that. You're not loving it as much as the first? No. No, no. Mum? Love the top. Absolutely. That's perfect. If there wasn't so much... Yeah. Material. Be perf yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though you wanted to see Laura in a princess gown, you think the width is too big? Yeah, I think it's too much for her. Until you try them on, you, you don't know what's going to suit you. I think your face says it's not the one. No. I think we needed to see myself in a ball gown for my own peace of mind as well and try that style and also for their peace of mind to know that that isn't the dress for me. And it's really interesting because you've heard those comments from your family now, you look more confident. Because oh, it's, okay. And now you're allowed to do what yeah. you wanted to do at the very beginning of today. Yeah. You just had to have the permission from your family. Their opinion means the world to me and... They've got to love the dress just yeah. as much as me, really. So, should we go and get that figure out again? Yes, please. I am petrified to see dress number three. You come with me. If she loves it and I don't, I think she'll have a meltdown. Let's find out what your family think. It's awesome. You look wonderful, on it? <laughs> she's cracked it. She, yeah, she's cracked it. You look stunning in it. 
Mum, what are you thinking? I love it, I love it. This dress, I love everything because it just lights her face up. I've got a very important question to ask you. Laura, are you going to say yes to the dress? I'm saying yes. <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> you found your dress! Yeah, it's, it's lovely to see Laura in the one. Oh, to see her on her wedding day. Oh, she's going to be so happy, isn't she? Yeah. Go on, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>it definitely has blown all my issues away i feel absolutely amazing not body conscious at all in the dress my name's jade i absolutely love beauty and the beast ever since i was a little girl i've always wanted to have the big princess dress for my wedding day so how big princess are you going? Not massive. Like, I want to be able to walk through a door. Jade's been in love with Disney, particularly from being a really, really, really small girl. But I just don't want her to look like a big meringue on a wedding day. So, you want this princess dress. I think we should definitely go towards those dresses. Also, we want mum on side, don't we? <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> so let's show you this one. Really, really fitted, slightly fishtailed. It's got this incredible train on it. I didn't expect in a million years to jump straight into a fitted dress. One, two, three. Oh, wow. That does not look like what I thought it would. I'm going already. It's oh, <laughs> all right, you're allowed to. Wow. What do you think of the dress? I actually like it. I knew you would. I knew I it. Do. Looking at this dress, I feel like a woman. I no longer feel like I, I'm a child playing dress up. As much as it pains me, <laughs> has Mum actually been right all along about this fitted dress? So, Heather, my darling, you wanted the fitted dress. You wanted to show off Jade's body. What are you thinking? I don't like it. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> it's plain. There's nothing to it. It's not a wedding dress. It's more like a prom dress. I'm shocked. I really thought that my mum would love this dress. I don't like the shape of the neckline. It's just not the gown for her, just not for a wedding. We're, we're very, very close. She's brutally honest, but I know at the same time that everything that she says, she says with a reason. Jo, what are we thinking? I'm not a massive fan either. <gasps> Lauren, what are we thinking? Well, I'm really sorry, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> Finally, someone's speaking some sense. <laughs> I love the shape, I love the seams, the way that it brings you in at your waist. I think it's gorgeous. I think it really suits you. One out of three is not bad. <laughs> you thought Mum would love this, didn't you? I did. I was like, she's going to cry, she's going to cry, and then I'm going to cry, and then everyone's going to cry. <laughs> so, I think what we should do is we should maybe look at blinging you up. OK. We'll try the second dress. We've kept some key features that you love, so the bardo, but, of course, this one is completely covered in beautiful ornamentation, crystals. So what's your first reaction? It's very blingy. I am shocked. I never thought it was going to be a, another fitted dress. And one, two, three. Wow. Definitely better than the first. OK. Yeah. 100%. I absolutely love this dress. How are we feeling about Princess now? I think it might be out of the window. Really? Yeah. Mm, that's interesting. Wow. Yeah, I think my mum has to cry at this one. <laughs> I can't wait to show my entourage this dress. It could be the dress for me.
<laughs> You'll start me off. A gorgeous jade. What do you think? I love this one. Um, I look amazing. Heather, we had tears from you. I love it. I think it, it really emphasises the bits it should do, and I think it's absolutely amazing. She looks stunning. That's beautiful. She looks like a bride. The lace, the bling, flatters you in every way possible. I actually really like it. And it is the right amount of bling. And you've still got your neckline and your bardot. It's beautiful. Do they love it, Jade? They do. I'm, again, I'm still... I don't know why, why I'm so unsure. I know why. I think you're unsure of this one because you've still got a tiny little twinkle of, of, of big princess dress in your head. And I think that's what we should do now. Let's put you in that princess dress. Agree? Yeah. I literally feel like you are about to see all of your dreams for all those years come to fruition. One, two, three. Oh, wow. Don't know what to say. <laughs> do you feel like a princess? I do. Now I'm confused. You like this one? I really like this one. I do really, really like this dress. There could be a drama if she loves this princess dress and Heather doesn't. Heather? The only thing I like about that is the tiara. <laughs> I think it's awful. Whatever you do, Heather, say what you think. <laughs> Belle would not go near that dress at all. She would throw it out the castle window. Did I tell you that my mum was brutal? <laughs> <laughs> when my mum made the comments that she did, that just reinforced it, that it wasn't the right dress for me. So, Jade, my darling, obviously we know this dress. It's the second dress that every single one of us absolutely adores, but... This dress also comes with an overskirt. What do you think? I love it. I do. Does it feel right? It does. You look absolutely stunning. What are we thinking? <sighs> Looking at her. <laughs> yeah. It's beautiful. It's a compromise between the dress that I really love and, and the princess. She's got tears in her eyes. She looks radiant. You can see it glowing from her. She loves this dress. Jo? She looks beautiful. It's absolutely perfect. I can't believe how good Jay's looks. She's actually made me cry. I do feel like the belle of the ball in this dress. So it just leads me to ask you a very, very important question. Are you going to say yes to the dress? Welcome to you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. My name is Nikki. I'm really nervous that there's nothing going to fit me. I'm really nervous that everything's going to look awful. You're a bit overwhelmed, aren't you? <laughs> a little bit. You can't escape towards the door. <laughs> I used to be a size 30. I'm now around an eight stone lighter. Um, but I still look in the mirror and I still see that big girl. Nikki, we found the one. Nikki. I mean, it's beautiful. I just don't think that would look good on me at all. Going out and buying a dress it should be an exciting part of the wedding planning, but she's just dreading it. That is beautiful. Again, I'm just kind of... I feel like I need to cover up more. Even with the weight loss, it's not quite had the effect that I thought it would have. Whereas, actually, we all see that difference already, um, and it's trying to get her to see that. Hello, Nikki. Congratulations. Hi. You. How are you? I'm Gok. How are you? Nice to meet you all. How are you? Welcome. Are you OK? Really nervous. Nervous about today or nervous about the wedding? Today. OK. How long have you been looking for the dress? Um, so, I've been putting it off. 
my dream dress to be able to kind of hide those areas that I am really concerned about. So my arms, my shoulders, um, my stomach and the tops of my legs. In the last few years, I've lost a little bit of weight. OK, how much? Uh, around eight stone. Eight stone? That's not a little bit of weight. <laughs> that is a small person. When did you start the diet? Really, what sparked um, the weight loss is I was uh, in a bar and someone said, is Nikki the fat, funny one? That kind of cut me quite deep. I still tend to be that person going, I can't wear something like that. I right. need to hide okay. that. That's what's primarily stopped you from looking for this wedding dress. Yes. yes. It's extremely nerve-wracking waiting for that first dress to come out. Feeling quite sick, fearing that I might hate this dress. So, we're going to start with you, Mama. My mum can be quite outspoken. She does always tell me her brutal, honest truth. You can tell by her face a lot of the time. I think, for me, the thing is the lace across the top. As I'm looking at it, it looks wishy-washy. It's not for her, and I have to tell her about the lace. I have to tell her if it's not the one for her. Girls, what are we thinking? I like the shape. I'm not keen on the pattern. The lace again? Yeah, it's, oh, really? I think it's too big. It's all on the sleeves, all the way down to the bottom. It's, it's just like a big tablecloth. I am shocked. Girls, what do you think? So I like it, but I don't love it, and I think <laughs> my issue is also the lace. In my head, I've always had lace, and we've got three people saying no to lace. I'm loving the lace. <laughs> <laughs> Finally! <laughs> Ella, coming to my rescue. It looks perfect on you. It really suits your body. I think I just needed to hear somebody say that it looked good. Listen, all of it is good to hear. At the end of the day, any design is always going to be subjective. But we should take those comments on board and we should have a little play now. So come on, come with me. It's better to say it now as well in front of just us far rather than the whole wedding party yeah. on the day. Yes, definitely. Yeah. I think she's feeling the pressure. She looks very anxious and concerned. I want to see Nikki in a, a dress that pulls out her figure, accentuates her waistline, makes the most of her bust and her shoulders. She has got a really good figure and I, I just want her to be able to see that. I try to be supportive and tell her that she's lovely and we're all so proud of her. You're taking lots of deep breaths there. I think it's the open shoulders. Yeah. Um, I think I'm still kind of trying to get used to seeing that a little yeah. bit. Um, from here down, I'm sold. I absolutely love the bottom of this dress. I think it's yeah. absolutely amazing. Um, the waist bit, I'm like, yeah, look at the waist. <laughs> <laughs> Mum, what are we thinking? I don't think I could criticise it, to be honest. Wow. That's I like, like a 10 it. out of 10. Ooh. It is. I, I, I love it. I think her shoulders look amazing. Uh, yes, it takes my breath away. It's beautiful. My mum definitely loves this dress, but there's just that little bit of me with the confidence that's just not there. Girls? I like it, strangely. I'm waiting for a butt. <laughs> you don't look as confident in that as the last one. Her whole body language is totally different, and I can see it. She's hiding herself around the veil. She's, she's not happy. Right, matron of honour. So I am pretty disappointed about the lack of lace. So I'm really worried this dress is a step too far and it's going to knock her confidence straight back. Where's the lace? So the bottom and the bodice is fine. It's just about the top of the shoulders, right? Yeah. So maybe what we need to do is need to rethink slightly to think, how do we get a bit more confidence there? Yeah. I'm going to have a little think. I've got an idea. I don't know when it's going to work. <laughs> OK. But I have got an idea. I feel like I could walk down the aisle in this dress and not be worried that everyone's looking at me. 
So then, Nikki, tell us what you can see. Uh, I love everything about it. I feel really confident. I feel like I could quite easily walk through smiling at this. I, I just love it. I think it's amazing. <laughs> I felt like a weight had been lifted off my shoulders. I felt like I, I was just a new woman. OK, let's find out what the guys think. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. That is stunning. Absolutely stunning. I thought the other dresses were nice, but that knocks them out of the ballpark. It's beautiful. Oh, are you OK? <laughs> you OK? Do you want Mum to give you a big hug? No, don't Go do on, that. Mom. We'll both start. <laughs> you only had to look at her face to know that she'd found what she was looking for. <laughs> Emma's crying, we're going home. No, it's done. <laughs> I can hear everyone crying. <laughs> um, and I'm really... If all four are crying, then this is definitely the dress. Who's the designer and what's the price? So the designer is Stella York and the price is £1,199. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Do you can afford it? You look beautiful. It leaves me a very, very important question to ask you. Are you saying yes to the dress? I'm saying hell yes to the dress. Yeah! I didn't think it was going to happen, and not only that, I have found my dream dress. My mum loves it, my friends love it, and I just can't wait for Luke to see me in it. Hello, how are you, Liz? Hi. Hi. How are you? Mwah, nice to meet you. Well, nice to meet you too. Who are you? Ruby. Hi, Ruby. I'm Gok. Nice to meet you. <laughs> what about the fella? Who's the boy? Oh, he's Ace. It's Phil. Pretty much from the moment we met each other, I knew that he was the one. I proposed to Liz on two occasions. The first occasion was in a restaurant in Amsterdam, and I got down on one knee and said, when you know, you know. <laughs> then popped the question. Was it how I wanted it, though? Was it? No. No. So you basically told him that his proposal wasn't good enough for you. Absolutely. It just yeah. wasn't how I expected it. So anyway, we came home and then I'd gone out and I'd come back and he'd put petals all up the... Um, candles. The candles. Candles. And he'd put his suit on in the middle of the day, hearts on bed, and he did it beautifully then. Just oh, lovely. Do you terrify me, just so you know? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the face! Oh, look at her face! Oh, you're going to make me cry. I love it. The first dress is beautiful. Mum, what are you thinking? Uh, when she first came out, I just thought, mm, no, no. But now she's turned around and she's like, I am quite liking it. For me, it was the right amount of sexy, definitely. I personally like that skirt bit because that's what something I would go for. Right. But for you, no. I think this is too traditional for right, Liz. Right, OK. You tell us what you think. It's just too normal. <laughs> OK. It's not the one. It isn't flamboyant enough? I think it's just not unusual enough. So you feel like you've seen this dress before? Definitely. What we need to do is we need to really work on our definition of what we think is sexy, all right? Yes. OK, right, let's get to the next dress. I'm just, just hoping that the next dress has the wow factor. Come on, Gork, we can do this. Right then, ladies. We've gone for something which is a crossover piece. It is 100% occasion, it's 100% bridal, and it's 100% couturier. Um, let's find out from the lovely Bernie the uh, designer and the price. The designer of the gown is Demetrius. With the dress and the train, it's £3,800. 
3,800 pounds. This is crazy. I told him my budget was 1,500 pounds. I guess it's my own fault, because I did tell him, you must show me everything. Talk us through what you can see. It's beautiful. Yeah. It is beautiful. It's amazing. In fact, yeah. it reminds me of, like, Hollywood. Aww. Something like that. So I'm starting to like the dress, the entourage is smiling at the dress, all is going OK. Do you remember when you had your 40? That's what that looks like. What are you trying to say about it? No, it does. And then my younger sister, Michelle, chirps in with how it is similar <laughs> to my mum's 40th birthday dress. <laughs> I can't get any more non-normal than this. What do you think? I mean, I'm all for being different and brave and standing out, but this is maybe taking it to a different level. If she doesn't yeah, yeah, yeah. come home with a dress, I'll be sad. Nanny will be sad as well. So here we go. Three, two, one. I love the shape. I love, love so much about this. I was all for see-through in sections, but this was see-through all over, and it's making me feel nervous and anxious more so than I ever, ever anticipated that I would feel. The only thing is that you can... That bit, I think, it's just a bit too much. My mum will go, wow, I can see your knickers. That's disgusting, Liz. <sighs> Risqué. Come on, Gok. Make me look like a bride and not a bloody stripper. Right, so it's going to be crunch time. We can't cover the bottom of that dress. So can you go upstairs, ask Jean if she's got any stretch nude material? Stretch nude, yeah. OK, and if she can, we need to make a skirt really quick. That dress. Yeah, okay. perfect. I love it. Do that you? is the one. That has got to be the one. It's different. That is amazing. It makes your figure look bang on. I love it. I love it. I love it. I do. Come on. That's the only dress that's made me go like this. Mum, you're very quiet. Liz was quite nervous about you seeing this. It's very see-through. Um. I didn't like the top. I'm like, oh, God. Just move your hair. I think it's lovely and it kind of shapes then my arms yeah. nice, I think. But the more I am looking at it, I'm starting to like it. I love the yeah, lace. Beautiful. Love Honestly. it. I can see in, in Lizzie's face, there's a definite change. She likes this dress. Let's spin you around then, my darling. It's crunch time, OK? It's now time to find out the designer and the price, because this is a couture piece. Oh. Are you ready? Oh, no. <laughs> the designer is Atelier by Pronovius. And if we were to order you a brand new gown, it would be £4,800. My heart sank when she told me how much the dress was. It was just far too expensive. However, you can have this sample gown for £1,500. <laughs> <laughs> so, that leads me to ask you a very, very important question after quite a tough day. <laughs> Are you saying yes to the dress? I'm absolutely over the moon she's found her dress. Ecstatic. <laughs> Mum thought I wouldn't do it. We thought you might not do it, but you've absolutely pulled it out of the bag. Thank you You have very been much. amazing. Yeah. I just feel this dress is just perfect. I'm so excited to see Phil's face. When I see Liz walk down the aisle, I definitely, 100%, love tears in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs>